Example 8. Find the slope and y-intercept of the line from the equation f of x equals to 2x minus 4 and then draw its graph. We're going to find the slope intercept form and the y-intercept form of the line from this given equation f of x equals to 2x minus 4. Equation has been given and we're going to find the slope and y-intercept of the line and then we'll draw its graph. We know that the given function is f of x which is 2x minus 4 f of x equals to y equals to 2x minus 4. We have been discussed f of x equals to y plenty of times that whether you put f of x or y it is one thing. f of x is actually indicates the value along y axis. So you can write f of x equals to 2x minus 4 or y equals to 2x minus 4. It is up to you. Now it is in the form of y intercept. It is in y intercept form. The slope of the line is 2 here, m equals to 2. This is my slope of the line. Now to calculate for the y-intercept, I'm going to plug in x equals to 0. At x equals to 0, I will get y equals to negative 4. This negative 4 will be my y-intercept. Remember, I'm not talking about the y-intercept equation form. And I'm not talking about the slope-intercept form. I'm simply talking about the slope of the line and y-intercept of the line, y, which is b. So to calculate for the b, I'm going to plug in x equals to 0. So at x equals to 0, y equals to negative 4. Negative 4 will be my y-intercept. Just plug in x equals to 0, which equals to y equals to negative 4. This is my y-intercept and my coordinate point will be 0, negative 4. What does that mean? It means that the line will cross the y-axis at negative 4 and x-axis at 0. Because if you plug in x equals to 0 here, you will get y equals to negative 4. At x equals to 0, y equals to negative 4. This is going to be the coordinate point in xy plane. Now to draw its graph, this is my xy plane. Here is the coordinate point 0, negative 4. At x equals to 0, x equals to 0 here. At this point, x equals to 0. And y equals to negative 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative 4 along y axis. How are you going to identify the second point? To identify the second point, we're going to go for the slope of the line. What the slope of the line says, the slope of the line says rise or run. So rise or run means the change in y axis or change in x axis. Can I write m equals to 2 equals to 2 over 1? Look, we know that slope of the line equals to rise or run. Rise is the change in y axis and run is the change in x axis. So my y is 2, rise is 2, and delta x is 1. So I'm going to go two point above along y-axis, 1, 2, here, and then run. Run is 1, one point along y-axis, positive 1. So my point will be here, here. This will be my second point. Rise is 2, and run is 1, so the point will be here. And similarly, rise is 2 from this point, and run is 1, and the third point will be here. Again, rise is 2 from this point, run is 1, and the fourth point will be here. That's how we can get the point of the line. Why we do this? Because look, the question asks that first find the slope of the line and the y-intercept of the line. So we have calculated the slope, which is m equals to 2. This 2 is the slope of the line, which is m. It is like y equals to mx plus b. We directly get slope of the line, which is m equals to 2. And then, for the y-intercept, I plug in x equals to 0. So at x equals to 0, my y-intercept will be negative 4. I got the slope of the line, and then the y-intercept of the line. The third thing is to draw the graph. To draw the graph, I need the coordinate point. So my first coordinate point is 0, negative 4. Because when I plug in x equals to 0, I got y equals to negative 4. So at x equals to 0, my y equals to negative 4. There I got the first coordinate point, which is 0, negative 4, from this section. And then what about the other points? 
because I need a line. A line I don't know. I don't know the exact direction of the line where it lies in XY plane. For that reason I need other coordinate points. When you look to the slope of the line, m equals to 2. Slope is actually the rise or run. Rise is the change in y and run is the change in x. So can I write 2 equals to 2 over 1? 2 over 1 is like rise or run. This 2 is the value of y and 1 is the value of x. 1, 2 here, up to here. Because rise is 2 and run is 1 here. So my second point will be here. Rise 1, 2. Rise is 2 and run is 1. This is going to be my second point. To identify the third point, I'm going to go 1, 2 and then run 1 because rise is 2 and run is 1. So rise and then run. This will be my third point. To calculate for the fourth point, again I'm going to go two points along y-axis. 1 and 2 rise is 2 and then run is 1 1 rise or run this is going to be my fourth point there i got four points in the xy plane now to join all these four points there i got the graph of the line which is f of x equals to 2x minus 4 this is the graph of the line f of x equals to 2x minus 4 where this line crosses the y-axis at negative 4 which is the y-intercept, negative 4. So we got all those three parameters. Slope of the line, which is m equals to 2. Y-intercept, which is negative 4. And the graph of the line, which is here. Because three things were asked. Slope of the line, y-intercept of the line, and it is graph. To be more precise, let me calculate the slope of the line from another technique. If you look to the second point, the second coordinate point is 1 comma negative 2. This is going to be my second coordinate point. From another technique which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 or x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Negative 2 is my y sub 2 and negative 4 is my y sub 1. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1. y sub 1 is negative 4 remember. And x 2 is positive 1. x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then x sub 1 is 0 here. Negative times negative is positive. Negative 2, positive 4 is positive 2. And then over 1. Because 1 minus 0 is 1. So from another technique, I got the same answer, which is 2 over 1, which ultimately equals to 2. You can calculate the slope of the line from rise over run technique or from this procedure.